let's go over a comic book haul I just got. Uh, the wife and I went to Walmart today, and they had some new of the new DC Comics three packs out. So I got two of them. Uh, they are five dollars a piece for a three pack. Uh, I have not opened them yet. Figured I'd save that for on camera. So let's go ahead and take a look. They do come in plastic bag. Which so here we've got DC Universe Rebirth number one, Batman Detective Comics. Rise of the Batman. Uh, I haven't really heard anything about the storyline, but it does appear that you can see Batwoman in the background. So you got Robin, or no, Red Robin, I'm sorry. Spoiler and Orphan. Got a bunch of Jokers, it looks like. So that was Batman Detective Comics, DC Universe Rebirth number one, Rise of the Batman. Up next, we've got the new 52 Futures End Sinestro number one, one shot. Once again, not too familiar with this issue. Um, I'm actually not too familiar with Futures End at all. I've got my other comic packs came with some Futures End, so I'm going to have to read up on it, find out what's what the deal is with it. Can't really say much because I'm not really familiar with what's going on with Future's End, so or what went on with Future's End. Then you've got the final days of Superman, Batman and Superman, number five, uh, number thirty-two. The final days of Superman, number five. I believe this is the storyline that leads up to the death of the New Fifty Two Superman and the return of. The pre-New 52 modern age Superman in Lo the pages of Lois Clark. As you can see, it is the entire Trinity, DC Comics Trinity, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. And then it looks like you got a few other, I don't know if those are heroes or villains, I'm not entirely sure. They look like they might be heroes from other countries. And in the pages of the New 52, Superman and Wonder Woman were a couple. And it does look like this Superman does have the kryptonite powers. He absorbed a bunch of kryptonite, green kryptonite, so he's got the green eyes now. Uh, when he's got his standard powers, he's got blue eyes. Just a little attention to detail. Uh, they are known as the Great Ten of China. I'm guessing it must be China's version of the Justice League. <laughs> I'll, re I'll, I'll give this a shot, see uh, see what's going on in here. Like I said, I'm not completely up to date. This, it looks like... Yeah. It appears this might be the first appearance of the Super Hyphen Man, China's Superman. Um, I'm not too familiar with him or his power set, but that's what it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to have to read it up, get familiar with the final days of Superman. That So that's Batman, Superman, number 32 from DC Comics, New 52, the final days of Superman, number 5. Here we have the cardstock in the back. Um... Enter the world of DC Comics and your favorite superheroes. Collect these all-new DC special three-packs, each including two surprise collectible comics. As you can see here, you got Batman, uh, another Batman Trinity, Detective Comics, Flash, Harley Quinn. I almost got that one. Came very close to getting that one. That's a pretty iconic cover, very reminiscent of the Flash of Two Worlds cover. You got the two Kid Flashes, two Wally Wests, uh, completely different people. Uh, Harley Quinn, Injustice, Suicide Squad, and Supergirl. DC Universe Rebirth, number one, Batman Trinity. 
it's Batman. Once again, this is the new DC Comics 3-pack for $5 only at Walmart. You got the cardstock in the back. And three comics for $5 is a really good deal. Honestly, because, well, let's take a look at these three. Originally, they sold for Batman Superman was $3.99. Uh, Sinestro was $2.99. And Rise of the Batman, um, it doesn't say. I'm sure it was probably two ninety nine as well. But yeah, it's a really good price. Five dollars for three comics. Um, definitely a good deal. And I'm sure you can get pick these up at any local Walmart. So once again, we got the card stock. We got Batman Trinity, or Batman Trinity, I'm sorry, number one, DC Rebirth, Batman. The Trinity here, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, and then the modern age, pre-New 52 Superman. This is after the death of the New, uh, the new 52 Superman, who has the... Uh, He has the collar on, uh, so his cape's not tucked into his shirt. Uh, he's also got red boots. This Superman has blue boots, but he did get rid of the red trunks. Uh, he no longer has the... He doesn't have Kryptonian armor like the New 52 one does. It's just a standard Superman costume. And this Superman is married to Lois Lane. They do have a son together. Um, then you got Batman and Wonder Woman. Um, with Batman, he is still New 52 Batman. Same with Wonder Woman. Um, but Batman is also the pre-New 52 Batman, if that makes any sense. They made it to where all of Batman's stories before the New 52 and before Flashpoint occurred in a five-year time span. So... That's a lot of <laughs> adventures for five years. Let's see, we open with. I'm assuming that's either a young Clark Kent or Clark Kent's son. We got Wonder Woman uh, with a wild boar. And we got Batman. It does appear to be Superman and Lois Lane's son. Um, I think they named him Jonathan. I could be wrong, but pretty interested. It looks like this is uh, the first time the new, uh, the pre New 52 Superman is having dinner with Bruce Wayne and Princess Diana, or Diana Prince, uh, which is her alter ego. Um, they are doing it on the uh, farm, but Clark has, Clark has a completely different last name. They changed their names because in the New 52 era, before, uh, shortly before Superman died, uh, the New 52 Lois Lane did spill the beans on his secret identity. Um, so he went kind of, he got fired from the Daily Planet and kind of went cross country, you know, because he was a wanted man by several uh criminal organizations and whatnot so in order to keep people safe i think he plus at this time he was also getting depowered as well so it's kind of weird story and the pre-new 52 lois lane eventually died in dc rebirth um because she beat her as well as lana lang became super women uh have they had different versions of superman's powers and the New 52 Lois Lane's powers burn her out, and she died. So the pre-New 52 Lois Lane took her place as a reporter at the Daily Planet. Nobody know, nobody realizes that they were two completely different Lois Lanes. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this. This looks like an interesting story. Batman Eternal, number 22. Enter the Architect. I do believe that Comic Storian 
and a few others did videos on Batman Eternal. Um, so I'm interested in reading this, finding out more about it. Uh, very interesting. And then we've got the New 52 Futures End, Grayson, number one, one shot. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in the New 52, during the events of Forever Evil, Dick Grayson's identity, or Nightwing's identity as Dick Grayson was revealed to the world. And he was killed by the crime syndicate of America another from another Earth, only to have Batman bring him back to life in order to infiltrate a secret government agency, bring it down from the inside. Nobody else was allowed to know that Grayson was still alive. I think these are the events that are leading into Convergence. Pretty interested to see that, to read this. Um, I've got a few New 52 Futures and comics now. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what they're about. So anyway, there you have it, guys. That's my comic book haul for the week. Um, DC Comics Walmart 3-pack for $5. As I said before, they do come out with new 3-packs just about every month. Um, got some good ones last month. Looks like some really good ones this month. I'm, I think I'm going to have to go back and get, pick up, uh, this Flash and, uh, probably the Supergirl one. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like for more content, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Take care, guys.